All right, Nick. It's Steve. You were asking about the um, camera settings here, and I don't remember where default is. Um, I usually either use I use a bunch of different stuff, um, ground to view or pilot. Um, I usually, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm making a video. I usually turn zoom completely off so that when you fly away, right, helicopter gets smaller, just like real life, can't see it. I can see it, but you can't see it probably on the YouTube video quality. I'm on a pretty big screen here. You also see I have um, a bunch of camera delay turned on. If I if I suddenly fly off the screen, oh. see helicopter went off the screen there for a second. I'll turn that off so you can see the difference. But to me, it feels more real when the camera's not chasing the helicopter around as fast. So that would be just this this tracking speed. I'll I'll turn it all the way up just so you can see the difference. The camera will just totally, completely track the helicopter. There's no way to get it off the screen. Even when you're doing like TikToks, you see the screen shaking. It's kind of weird. So I'll put that delay back so you can kind of see the difference. So yeah, I usually fly, if I'm flying close in, maybe a little bit of tracking speed. But if I fly really close in, I usually turn that completely off because it just makes it feel a lot different. See, that might be even hard to, see, I can't even really fly off the screen now with these settings. put that back that even with that little bit of of course when I zoom if I zoom in right it's gonna fly off the screen quite a bit so actually let me do manual zoom is what I'm after here yeah so if I zoom in right so we're now we'll when we're close in it'll be easy to fly it off the screen I think even with that even with that little bit of camera delay Yep, sure enough. <laughs> this, this is manually fully zoomed in, which can be kind of fun when you're making some videos and stuff. Now it's just stupid, stupid easy to fly off the screen. You see I'm flying a little ways out there. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> so yeah, let me um let me turn the screen delay back on or the faster scam camera tracking with this zoomed in really far. So I, I don't fly the same all the time. I try all different stuff depending on what I'm doing. So I'll put this uh, tracking speed all the way back up. So now I'm close in and it won't you know won't fly off the screen, but the stupid scenery is going to chase it all over the place and it looks kind of dumb. Cool, huh? I was able to bang the skids on the sign out there.
I'll put the zoom back out a little bit. So I think with manual zoom, if you go back in here, I got the mouse wheel on here. If I go back here, so I can actually, actually change the zoom while I'm flying, right? Just by hitting the mouse wheel. So say you're just flying and you're not really happy with the zoom level, you can kind of just reach down for the mouse wherever it is. You can get that where you want it. So I'm zoomed out. I'm going to put the camera maximum camera delay back on, which I often like to fly with. Zooms off completely. I think, yeah, now I can't zoom with the mouse anymore. But you see how the camera's not really chasing this very well at all, but you can really feel that pitch, you know, those pitch pumps and things up close. It just feels much more realistic to me. To most people, this sucks. They hate it. It's harder for them to fly. It's got a little bit of that, like if you got a VR headset on, this is kind of what, it's, what it feels like, other than your head's not tracking it at all. But it's got that really, you know, poppy, really feels like it's moving fast when it's close. It also tends to go off the screen a lot, which I like because it gets me just oriented and it teaches me to practice not getting disoriented and also getting reoriented if it goes out you know gets you know not or if you lose your orientation I'm gonna fly this really high and just hit throttle hold problem is I'm still it's just a dot but I can still you know I've got some orientation here so I'm gonna stop the blades let it just fall See if I can get it back. The okay, blades are stopped, giving some negative pitch there. Okay, now I can see the tail, so it's, it's kind of a piece of cake just because I can see where the tail is. And we're just bringing it in for an auto here after the blade stop. It's a little weird with the delay, can't see the ground, you know, trying to. So I don't know if that's helpful. I could do another one on real flight too. Because I do kind of the same different stuff in real flight. To get to get quite a lot different flying experience than out, what you get out of the box. And that's a little weird trying to do the auto and judge where the where I want to land on the ground. I was actually headed trying to do that spot, but when the camera's out of view like that, it's kind of kind of difficult to do. So don't know what that was, don't know if that was helpful at all or gave you any ideas to play around with. Um, but those are basically I mean I play around with the you know the the ground in view a little bit too if you want but it doesn't make a whole lot of difference to me on those two. What does make a difference is this tracking speed and do it do it by feel and play with the zoom. If you have a mouse wheel you can you know. Just make sure this is set to enable zoom, and then now you can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, which is kind of handy. But hope that was helpful. Have fun. Take care.